welcome Sunki Ojulari. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know about the this God voice. Me, I want to say my own. First of all, so kiss my G. Can 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 we clap for him? Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. In case you don't know, this is my premium, premium French. Hello guys, good <laughs> afternoon, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you. So. If you are looking for nightlife, or you say you are a nightlife person in Lagos and you don't know Sunki, maybe not for rural area. Or back of your TV. Or back of your TV. <laughs> because this guy has done so much and I'm proud of you. Thank you. So um, we're going to, hmm, this first question, you are ready, Abby. How important is it to balance um, your life and your lifestyle? You know, even me, I don't know whether it's different. Okay, so um, thank you for the question. Once again, thank you guys for coming. So your way of life is what brings about the lifestyle. Do you understand? So um, what brings about the premium lifestyle is how intentional you go about it. Do you understand? So let me just bring it to real life instances. So you know how, okay, so growing up, I make amazing noodles. Like, I still make mad noodles, right? So. I never cook for me. <laughs> So I have times that whereby, whereby I have like cousins or friends come around the house like, ah, oh, mom, mom, you are hungry or we want to have something to eat. Like, eh, you don't chop sunki in, do me. Do you understand? So that's intention, that emphasis on, have you tasted it? That is the style. That is the premium lifestyle. Just how different you make certain things different from every other person. Let me, say, let me say the one I know. I don't know about food. But I mean, have you ever been to an event hosted by Sunki? Like, even have you ever gone to a place that has Sunki's touch? That's the one I want to come from. Sunki, you're so intentional. Yeah, sometimes you'll be like, uh, Chirexi, this cannot work. Go, yeah, say, Sunki, I don't get your money. I don't get your money. So you're saying now that your life is different from how you your lifestyle is. People should be able to tell that you have, like, there's something about you. Of course. Okay. Um, so we're moving on. Are you okay with that? Sure. So the next question is, is your lifestyle really a representation of who you are? That's a bit. Um, so um, I can't say 100%, but then again, your life breeds about the lifestyle. So there's little, little touch here and there. Do you understand? Yeah, so, okay, I'm listening. What about your social media? And your lifestyle. Is it the same? <laughs> um, social media is work. Do you understand? Social media is what the world chooses to see. Mm. Do you understand? It's not necessarily your life. It's what you just, what you represent pretty much and what puts food on the table. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Some days I'm mad pissed in my house. I'm crazy, but I know that I need to post library flyer. Yeah. So, because well, I'm about to keep book this table, but in the house I'm shouting on my brother, you crazy, do you understand? So it's, necess it's not necessarily like your life, if that makes sense. The show needs to go on. The showbiz, mm. do you understand? The show needs to go on. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Because, you know, some people compare people's social media life to their personal life. I mean, that's on them, oh. You just used to be pressured, do you understand? It's just like report card. Report card don't necessarily show you the test you failed, I mean, the class you did not attend. Mm. It just comes to tell you, Sunki passed, Sunki failed. We will not feel in Jesus' name, but yeah. Amen. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, um, what are some of the challenges of running a lifestyle and hospitality business? I mean, I'm in, in the hospitality space. I wouldn't necessarily, is that also a lifestyle? Not so that Everything you. is lifestyle, baby. Tell it's the play. It. See, for as long as you do it your way, and it makes the next guy look twice. Hmm. That's lifestyle. Hmm. Hmm. Do you understand? So there's intentionality in it. A premium lifestyle. Ooh. I mean, everybody is, you know, if anybody is dressed, but you still look at some kids dressed twice. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Am I lying? I know. <laughs> I know. So please, eh, Carlos, what are the challenges in um, 
lifestyle and hospitality business, as in business, because I know we have a lot of business owners here, and some of them are into lifestyle, lifestyle and um, hospitality, just like me. Yeah. So what are your, let's use you as yeah. a template, what are your... Okay, so um, the first thing has to be, it will never make sense from the beginning. Do you understand? So I would say that would be like number one core issue because in your head, you're just there like waiting with these people to see them. Is it making sense? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Am I doing the right thing? Am I just faffing? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it takes a bigger person, which is God, to mm -hmm. keep, you keep running back to say, oh God, they move, but they behind you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's that intentionality behind it. Then you know that's number one. That's the first part of it because you need to be able to practice what you preach, if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. definitely, you can't tell me you're a makeup artist and I'm looking at your face and I'm like, you're the makeup. <laughs> Do you understand? They know they're makeup. <laughs> no, but, no, but then again, when I see your face beat, I need yeah. to look at you I'm like, oh, a bad yeah. job. Do you understand? Or, or you tell me, oh, oh, who made your outfit? Oh, I made it. Oh, I see. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you need to have the intentional, like the touch has to just be precise. Yeah. Do you understand? I mean, you want to do it. Do this it. is my friend here. Her hair is always on a banking level. Can you see? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. You want to go out? Go out. Like, I'm going out already, so I need to look good. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Anything you, you have chosen to do, you just need to do it right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the second part of it. So the third part of it has to be the economical issues, right? I mean, it's not easy for anybody. Mm -hmm. But then again, you need to fit the water first. Before somebody will help you carry it. Well, holla. You uh, need to fetch the water first. So, I mean, you need to go to the well. Yes, fetch sir. your water yes, in the sir. big bucket, right? Mm -hmm. Before you say, I'll be a bros. Emmy if you want. Yes. Nobody will necessarily help you fetch water. Yes. So, you need to take it to a certain level yourself first. Do you understand? Just the way I've brought myself here. The next one, free. You know, the push, push, push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much. So, the next question is. How do you create a unique and memorable experience for your guests? You know, s talking about the fact that you also are an amazing host. How do you create, you know, by the way, how far, if I? <laughs> the, it's given. <laughs> it's given. Okay, it's given, it's given. <laughs> okay, so how do you intentionally create an amazing and um, a memorable experience for your guests? I think you should answer that one now. No, she has asked you now. Okay, so let me use that to answer the question she just asked. So pretty much, you need to just tailor it to who you're dealing with, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. See how you came to me, me soon came as spa business. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I know what you need, and I give you your medicine. Mm. Do you understand? The medicine worked. No, 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 not in that way. You have to take a yes or no. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, you need to just tailor, you need to just understand your client, mm -hmm. you need to understand who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. So we have people that will tell you, um, I mean, if you say client that's already engineered with five cars, engineered with like Jack Bada is big. big, everything, you can't come up and tell you the person, let's have something minimal. Mm. It's not making sense. Mm. It can't make sense. Mm. Even if it's the most sweetest event you're about to do, you can see your client is loud. Mm. So you need to throw a loud plan for them. Mm. So you come, you see a very minimalistic person, um, virgin hair, just calm, shy, shy. You know this one is not trying to say, Come. you get my point? So you need to just tailor it to who you're dealing with. So that's, the, that's what makes it unique, because mm. definitely everybody is different. So mm. by the time you're creating different um, events, tailored to your clients, it comes off unique. Wow, yeah. wow, thank you so much. From my end, the last question, I'll, I'm gonna ask the last question now. So you guys um, start arranging your questions. From my end, what are your hopes for the future of lifestyle and hospitality business in Nigeria. Because before I even say that, please, you guys, he just, I can talk as he, yeah. So he just launched the first ever documentary for lifestyle and nightlife in Nigeria. You See, after this event, go and check his hand, dude. My premium friend. All right, tell us. <laughs> um, so as regarding the hopes, I hope, the nightlife and hospitality business is seen as a proper industry mm -hmm. by the government. I hope it gets to the level whereby we get random support as well. 
I hope it's not tailored or it's not being described as that. Because at night, people just believe it's just waywardness. It's irresponsibility. But whether you like it or not, humans work. That is, families, life happen there. People are being sponsored to school from there. So they are, everything in life has the good and bad side. So you can't necessarily just be out there promoting the bad side of it. So I hope it's seen as a proper industry that makes shit happen. Because it actually does make shit and happen. And the funny thing is that industry makes billions. Bro, Every just, night. just like food, mm-hmm. there's always cost to celebrate. Yeah. Somebody's getting married, somebody's birthday. You can even celebrate that divorce. So yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, shut down. <laughs> just something that um, Pretty Mac said in your event. Yeah. He said um, half of the people that are staying happy is because it's attached to nightlife. Because after the stress, they come to the club. I mean, I have my boss here. Onyo Olingo. <laughs> so, the, you know, okay, you don't understand Igbo. It means that, you know, some people, the stress, like Igbo people, they love Sundays. Don't mess with their Sunday. They want to party and club. So, now that I have this platform, I want you to help me because I couldn't ask him yeah. then. How does he really in his word, he said it's it's medicine. Yeah. yeah. How does it really help? Like. So um, whether I like it or not, right? It's therapeutic, right? Because at the end of the day, it's an avenue to network, mm-hmm. see random faces, mm-hmm. and music is food for the soul. Do you mm-hmm. understand? So there's just that vibe with it, and mm-hmm. I mean it's alcohol now. Let me say the drink water, so there's a little. <laughs> do you understand? It's just yeah. a little bit spicy, mm-hmm. and yeah. Um, aside that, you know, the hospitality, not, you don't necessarily have to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be 12 a.m. before you go have fun, you know? Mm. So, it, all of this starts from 7 p.m., 6 p.m., you understand? There are lounges that allow you to come in, have fun before 12 or 1 a.m., you can go back to your house. Um, so, there are different, like I said, even same way with the client, there are tailored experience centers, you understand? You feel like having pepper soup and beer, it's farm city. You feel like having, um, you know, play games, there's upbeats. Like, different, uh, whatever mood you are, you feel like just hearing the sound of the sea, there's private beach house. Mm. You feel like being at the beach, but still hearing music, there's hard rock, there's, do you get my point? All these things you're saying sound like money. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any question? Does anybody have a question? Okay. See the beautiful lady seated here. Um, no, because I have friends that are proper music gurus and they are introverts, right? I mean, for every, that's just like the nightlife. People come in to come and have fun to well-established club, music, DJ, mood light, you just come and dance. Mm-hmm. But we have people that don't necessarily like what, what I do, but they are back end that the one in charge of the odd that the one sending us bills in the morning, that the ones um, checking that the food is inside, the supply. Do you understand? So, so just like music as well, we have the A and R people that just do the um, back end work. Do you understand? From the distro to what have you. So definitely, it's just about uh, what you call it, delegation, pretty much. You don't necessarily have to be an outgoing person or fuck with the club. I want to, you know, that I used to be an artist. <laughs> I want to say something in regards to her question. You know, most artists, they link up in club. Sorry, as a worker, not the musician, right? She's a, she's a musician. Wait, she'll say as a... <laughs> okay, but now, standing for the musicians, as a musician. Eh, <laughs> answer. I mean, it depends on the kind of music you're trying to sing. Like secular, right? deaf. Yeah, so like I say again, they have we have artists that don't smell the club. You understand? You have good shit. The DJ will do your work for you. Mm. Do you understand? Then all rest probably if you have like hosting or whatever, you can just show. You can just come around. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sanki. Oh my God, having you here. Please a round of applause for Sanki as he 
stands up and, you know, Chidema, uh, if you want to ever, Chidexi, if you ever want to do music circular do and you don't go to the club, they go play your music for church. I can't, you won't. I can't. Please, a round of applause for him.